Donna. I'm Dondi. I'm Titania. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Better Breathing Challenge. Challenge. This is the perfect time to do a challenge with us. Seven days, seven techniques. We'll do them with you every day and you can breathe better from this challenge. All of these Eden Energy Medicine techniques are great for being in a pandemic. It also is wonderful because we are in the place of cold and flu season, but it's also good for when you're walking, when you're running, when you're swimming, it helps all of it because we are affecting the lungs. So we're going to begin with the thymus thump. And the thymus is right here behind your sternum. And if you, if you tap it, you can tap it. You can really hit it hard. You can slap it with your hands. But when you thump, uh, you're making T cells. Your, um, your energy turns on more because this, the thymus thump moves stress out of the body and suddenly you have more vitality. So here's what I would suggest you do. Take, breathe in long and slow and then out slower. <laughs> okay, so here's how you go. go. I'm going to do that again. Now you're going to harness the power of the exhale and really let it out. You release toxins. You release um, carbon dioxide. It's just very, very good. Oh, and you turn on your sympathetic, your parasympathetic nervous system, which also um, contains your vagus nerve. So next we're going to do the lung flush. Now the lung flush pertains to lung meridian and lung meridian goes from here all the way down like that. But we're going to go backwards on it once so that we can flush it out. So you can start at your thumb and go straight up the shoulder and off right there at lung one. Now we're gonna go forward three times and you can do the same thing. We can take a deep breath in through our nose and then harness the power of the exhale. One more time. And now this side, from the thumb up to the shoulder to the chest, right there on lung one and then forward three times. All right, and mom, they don't have to know where lung one is. If you use your whole hand, you'll hit it, right? Absolutely, yes, there's no, uh, yes. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Lung one is, you'll know it if you're into acupressure, but use your whole hand and you'll hit it. Yes. So next we're going to the sternum bone and the area is from about here at the top of the breasts to about here and we're going to rub it. Get in there and massage with pressure. You can also go up and down if you'd like. You're activating this area that is protecting the lungs, it's protecting the heart, and it also activates the thymus, which mom just talked about. <laughs> so you wanna do it with some pressure, and you know what, if it's tender, that's okay, right? That's so that, that natural. That is so okay. <laughs> and if you're doing any kind of exercises that uh, really um, calls upon your longevity, this is excellent to do before and. Yes, and do keep in mind that everything we're doing in this challenge in the lungs is going to move your lymphatic fluid, which doesn't move on its own. Yes. You have to move it yes. with your hands or with an activity. Okay, so that's the sternum bone. Next, we're going to lung points. Now, these points go from there. It's in the middle between the breast and the shoulder right over here on the side. But if you use all the pads of your fingers, you're sure to hit it. For me, I have a little notch. Mom says she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, it's a little tender. It's a little, it's a little tender, tender on me too. And, and for me, it's a little indent. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody is different. But if you hit this area, remember Titania always reminds me, halfway between the breast and the shoulder, right here, and you want yeah. to do both sides and this can clear phlegm from yes. the respiratory system. All right, those were your lung points next. 
Next, we're going to do the next stretch. And this next stretch is really good for a sore throat, but it also connects into the vagus nerve. And that vagus nerve goes all over the body, bringing oxygen everywhere. And it is also good for infections. So let's do it. We're going to take our hands and we're going to stretch our hands on the bottom of your chin all the way to underneath your ear where there is a point, a triple warmer point connected to fight, flight, or freeze. From that point, we're gonna come down, stretching the neck, connecting into the vagus nerve, and landing on the heart chakra, right in the middle of your chest. Let's do it on the other side. We're going to stretch along the jawbone, underneath the ear, a triple warmer point, stretch along the neck, Breathe in and out, coming down to the center of the chest. All right, so the next one is the digestive breathing. Now they say that breath goes all the way into your digestion. And so it's really good to bring oxygen there too. It may look similar to cat and cow in yoga, but it's a little different. So we're going to bend down on our thighs, our, our thumbs in the middle of our thighs facing inward and we're going to bend down and very slowly we're going to breathe in through the nose and as we do we're going to pull up on our tummy hold it there for a moment and then we're going to release our backside open up our chest through the mouth breathing out and let's do it one more time in Pull up on your tummy, hold it, and then out. Yes, that's a wonderful one for the digestion. So we're going to end by putting our hands right over our lungs, right over the lungs. You are also in the heart chakra, but this is just excellent because your hands have electromagnetic energy on them. So you're bringing healing right into your lungs you can do one or two very uh, long, slow, deep breaths, and then out. And you can, at, when you're at this place, it's, it's sort of natural to bring um, gratitude and gladness and appreciation and just a sense of all is well in the world. But if it doesn't feel like all is well in the world, then you can also bring prayer to this place. Uh, but you're, you're putting it right into your lungs and the lungs carry old grief, ancient grief, uh, present grief. But if you're feeling grief, you're bringing healing into your lungs right now. So, uh, yes. we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>